Please vote yes on this bill. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Madam Speaker, yield two minutes to the uh, gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Davidson. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. From the debate and from the whole premise of this red flag law proposal, you would think that there was no such way to deal with this problem in America. It's been pointed out that 19 states have red flag laws already, but there are 50 states that already have a way to have someone adjudicated mentally dangerous. Every single state, the premise that we can identify somebody who might pose a risk to themselves or others is the whole premise why red flag laws might work. But that's the same premise that allows Baker Acts to work in every single state in Washington, D.C. The difference is that the, the, the person charged, the person accused of being this uh, mentally incompetent, mentally dangerous person, has the right to confront their accuser. And that's what they're trying to undo. It already exists in law. Everyone knows, everyone knows, that we cannot accept our children being murdered. We can't accept our communities being destroyed and gutted, not just by violence, by increasing violence, by increasing acts of despair, not just shootings, but suicides, and the number one cause of death for 18 to 45-year-olds, fatal overdoses. There's something going on wrong. It's not the guns. It's the culture and the evildoer. When do we stop blaming the evildoer, the doer of evil deeds, and if you could identify who that doer of evil deeds might be, wouldn't you want to take them away from the weapons instead of taking the weapons away from them? If you don't take the person away, they can get other guns. They might even get a car and drive through a parade. Let's keep our community safe. Let's keep our kids safe. Let's focus on the real problem and not just run the same play over and over again. The Democrats have a preconceived solution every emergency, and it's shameful to watch this exploitation of violence to achieve a Democrat longstanding objective to undermine our Second Amendment. I yield. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from New York is recognized.